Yeah, this is E.J. Gold, and uh, I'm right here at uh, GarbageGuitars.com. That's where we're coming to you from. And uh, we're here um, in our concert space. Uh, I'm here in the concert space um, between sets. And what I'm going to do is just take a few minutes to explain to you the very basics of garbage guitar. Actually, not all of them, just one basic at this point. That basic, I'm going to emphasize with my wah pedal over here. If you don't know what a wah pedal is, see my other um, things on the wah, with the wah pedal especially. Okay. I'm going to keep time with my foot. Now, I could keep time with this foot and use the wah pedal occasionally and so on. It's just kind of drummer style. But I'm going to keep my time with the wah pedal, which is going to create a sort of a an effect. first lesson in garbage guitar is going to be to just keep the beat. Now, you can do anything around the beat that you want to. Your rhythm is separate from the beat. And here's what I mean by that. Here's your beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, but within that, you can do anything you want to do. Split it up. Go into triplets. Do whatever you want to do. Makes no difference. Try it. But just keep that beat. trying to do and just keep occupying yourself with your left hand the strumming and you don't like it don't worry about it just do anything you want to do you don't it doesn't matter just anything but make sure that you never lose the beat with your right foot see on there just keep that beat on the wah pedal <laughs> it's 
internally, you're going to keep that same beat. It's important to know that. that inside yourself, you're going to keep that beat. It's going to always be there so you can lace it any way you like, fill it any way you like. You can you think of the beat as the pot in which you're cooking a huge stew, and the stew is composed of all these other ingredient parts that you put in from the guitar, your strumming and your your hand work, your you know, all of that kind of thing, and then your your action work and all this and your concepts and your ideas and your developments and your A B B A layouts and so on. So all of that, that stuff is all additive. That's all the stuff you put into the stew, but in the pot is that basic beat. Now the beat can be kept by the left hand or not, by the right hand or not, but it's definitely going to be on one or the other of the feet. So you can keep it on the left foot. right foot. here is that the beat is constant it's always there the pulse is always there and that pulse can be in sound or it can be in motion or it can be anything else whatever keeps you on beat is fine metronome is good too whatever you want to do keep a click track there whatever you want to put in there something to keep a solid 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 beat one two three four or one two three four or one and two and three and four and or one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight whatever you want to do or one two three one two three one two three or one two three four one two three four <laughs> and whatever you want to do whatever configuration but keep that beat and make that beat solid and when that, that beat is solid, then what you're going to do is play around within that structure somehow. You do some, some things with it. Now, there's definite rules and regulations and so forth for, uh, for garbage guitar. Uh, one of those things has to do with not solos, but what's called repeat phrases. And we'll talk about that. Repeat phrases are a very important part of garbage guitar. And um, we're going to also talk about intonations and uh, all kinds of things related to garbage guitar. So I will... Um, uh, let's, oh gosh, we got a little thing to do here. And then we're going to come back and do a uh, yet another class. I think we're doing a class on um, how to use garbage guitar in acoustics and we'll do that next I think